The incomprehensible suffering of Jesus Christ ended sacrifice by the shedding of blood, but it did not end the importance of sacrifice in the gospel plan. Our Savior requires us to continue to offer sacrifices, but the sacrifices He now commands are that we offer for a sacrifice unto Him a broken heart and a contrite spirit. He also commands each of us to love and serve one another, in effect, to offer a small imitation of His own sacrifice by making sacrifices of our own time and selfish priorities. Today, the most visible strength of The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints is the unselfish service and sacrifice of its members. Prior to the dedication of one of our temples, a Christian minister asked President Gordon B. Hinckley why it did not contain any representation of the cross, the most common symbol of the Christian faith. President Hinckley replied that the symbols of our Christian faith are the lives of our people. Truly, our lives of service and sacrifice are the most appropriate expressions of our commitment to serve the Master and our fellow man. Just as the atoning sacrifice of Jesus Christ is at the center of the plan of salvation, we followers of Christ must make our own sacrifices to prepare for the destiny that plan provides for us.